Late Thursday night, President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump tested positive for the coronavirus. President Trump tweeted late last night, quote, Tonight, the First Lady and I tested positive for COVID-19. We will begin our quarantine and recovery process immediately. We will get through this together. This announcement comes after White House counselor to the President, Hope Hicks, tested positive for COVID on October 1st. Hope Hicks is among other individuals in the White House who have also been diagnosed with COVID, including three members of the White House press corps. There is currently no mask mandate in place at the White House, and according to reports by ABC, very few in the White House wear masks. Only after President Trump was revealed to have the virus were masks seen worn by White House officials on TV. The White House press secretaries posted a memo from Trump's doctor that characterized the first family's condition. Quote, after this afternoon, the president remains fatigued but in good spirits. He's being evaluated by a team of experts and together we'll be making recommendations to the president and first lady in regards to next best steps. First lady Melania Trump remains well with only a mild cough and headache and the remainder of the first family are well and tested negative for SARS-CoV-2 today. Later today, Trump posted his first tweet since 1 a.m. EST today containing a video with his message at about 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I want to thank everybody for the tremendous support. I'm going to Walter Reed Hospital. I think I'm doing very well, but we're going to make sure that things work out. The first lady is doing very well. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. I will never forget it. Thank you. Trump shortly thereafter boarded Marine One and landed at Walter Reed Hospital about 10 minutes later. The president will have spaces made for him to continue to work while at Walter Reed, 